Hey girls, Tiffany Dawn here, and I am back with my husband, James. Hey guys. Several of you have written in asking, how do you keep a Christ-centered relationship? Obviously, we don't have all those answers at all, but we have a few things that have helped us, and I'm hoping they can help you too. And as always, comment below what helps you keep a Christ-centered relationship so we can learn from you as well. I've heard a lot of people say that they read the Bible together and pray together, and that is something that we've done a little bit. Like, we pray together each night, which I love. It's like my favorite time of the day because I like get in bed and I just like octopus onto him and like cuddle <laughs> up and then we just like pray together and it's so sweet and I love it. And we have like done a few Bible studies together like ever so often, but it hasn't been like a consistent thing. Count, count them on one hand. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. something we've talked about doing and think, yeah, we really want to try this and just we have not gotten all that off the ground. Yeah, but it we have some, would be great. Yeah, we have some friends who do that, like Bible studies together every day even and they love it. So that's a great idea. It's just not something we've really explored. Be more like do our Bible study on our own and then we'll come together and like, we'll share mm -hmm. what we're learning with each other. And that's really encouraging to me. Cause like we both see different perspectives on God. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I think since being with James, I've learned how to love people better and just how important that is. And I think from Tiffany, I've learned about how much God cares about the little details of your life. I think that the most important part of keeping a Christ-centered relationship is for each person to have mm -hmm. a relationship that is focused on Christ. Yeah. Meaning that each of you has Christ at the center of your own personal life. It's so easy, especially when you're you're dating or married to someone who's a Christian, to think, my spouse is a Christian, and you can just sort of put your personal relationship with Christ on cruise control. And yeah. you can almost just try to glom on to that other person's relationship and think, wow, you know, my spouse learned so much in their time with God. That's great, and I'm kind of learning from them. But there's no substitute to you spending time with God alone. Mm -hmm. There's no substitute for that. Yeah, I really think that's the key. If you want a Christ-centered relationship, both of you need a Christ-centered relationship of your own. Mm -hmm. I think that really is key. An analogy we heard once was the analogy of the, the triangle. Uh, so, which is if there's you and your partner and then God is up here and as you each get closer to God, you get closer to each other. I think another way that we keep Christ at the center of our relationship is encouraging and empowering each other to be who God made us to be. Mm -hmm. So like mm -hmm. we both have different gifts that God's given us mm -hmm. and different things in our hearts. So like I love girls ministry, big surprise, shocker there. But like James loves inner city ministry. And so I think finding ways to like empower him to go do what he wants to do and he empowers me to go do what God's mm -hmm. put in my heart to do. Mm -hmm. And then we'll find some things to do together so that we can like serve and love people together. And that's really fun. But not everything we do is together. A lot of our mm -hmm. personal ministry is separate, but we're like praying for each each other and encouraging each other and like providing space for the other to do what God's put in their heart to do mm -hmm. and to become who God made them to be. Micah 6 8 what what is it that God requires of you the prophet asks and the answer is do justice love mercy walk humbly with God the three things mm, and I think when we see that in our marriage when we are each personally embracing that inner marriage and in the way we treat the other person and in the way we as a trouble we as a <laughs> trouble we as a <laughs> We as a couple interact. There is no third. When we as a couple interact with people outside of our marriage too, that is a way to honor God is just walk humbly, love mercy, do mm -hmm. justice. And that I think is a way. I think another part of having a Christ-centered relationship is also in order to glorify God, you want to have a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. And a healthy relationship yeah. involves doing more than trying to keep your apartment or house clean, eating together, and watching TV Netflix together. Netflix and chill. Yeah, or just Netflix. <laughs> and, and not that there's anything wrong with that. We watch we a tremendous amount Netflix. of TV, and it's a lot, it really is a lot of fun. And we love to eat, and we love to go out to eat. But your relationship will start to atrophy if that's mm -hmm. all you do. Yeah. If all you're doing is sitting Sitting on the couch, watching television, eating, your relationship will atrophy. You will lose your muscles. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's really important that you find worthwhile things to do together. Yeah. Um, something we enjoy doing is reading books out loud to one another mm -hmm. and we talk about them. Um, that's something that's really good. We enjoy going on walks together. And this is something we're still trying to develop too mm -hmm. because we have different energy levels and different mm -hmm. interests. So we are trying to find more things to do together mm -hmm. because you have to do things for your relationship to grow. Yeah, And, and not just Christian things, just things yeah. that aren't just watching TV. 
I think for James and for a lot of guys, like doing things together helps you feel more connected. Mm, and for mm -hmm. a lot of girls and like myself, talking about things helps you feel connected. So you have to find like that happy medium of having both in your mm -hmm. relationships. Mm -hmm. You're growing together. Mm -hmm. And that honors God. 30,000 words a day, <laughs> 10,000 words a day. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> So those are our thoughts. That's what has helped us. And we're still learning. We're only two years into our marriage, got a lot more to go. So mm -hmm. we'd love to hear from you. If you're married, if mm -hmm. you're dating, please comment like what helps you keep Christ at the center. Thanks for being here with us. And we've got some really cool videos coming up. We got one this Friday about some awesome breakfast meal ideas for summer. Next Tuesday, we have a video for you guys about how to handle conflict in a relationship. And then we have favorite summer hairstyles and I've got some friends mm. coming on who have gorgeous hair and they're telling you their secrets to healthy, strong hair. No, he's not one of them. <laughs> you would be so weird. <laughs> I think my hair is healthy and gorgeous, sweetheart. It's beautiful. Thank you. Anyway, it should be really fun. So come check back. See you Friday. Love you guys. Bye.